I'm Shannon Sims. A beloved statue in West Bend once lost is now found. Downtown business owners noticed Guitar Frog was missing from his trio about a month ago. Today, West Bend police posted on their Facebook page that two people found the statue on Sportsman Lane near Smith Lake. The statue was not damaged. No arrests have been made. Monday, a doctor is expected to testify on whether a man accused of threatening police with a knife is competent to stand trial. Last December, officers confronted Alfonso Martinez Jr. outside of a Northside home after discovering his father and uncle were inside dead. The 26-year-old has not been charged for their murders. It was a day filled with all things Irish in Wauwatosa. Milwaukee Irish Fest put on the Family Day event at the Irish Fest Center. Bands took to the stage to play traditional Irish music, encouraging people to get on the dance floor and dance. The event also provided a number of crafts for kids to take part in. What's really unique about us here at Milwaukee Irish Fest is that we actually have a presence in the community year round. It's not just the festival in August. And there you see that cute kid eating some great Irish food. They also got to take pictures with the Irish Fest mascots, Patty and Molly McFest. And speaking of Irish Fest, a state official from Ireland will be meeting with Milwaukee's mayor and organizers of the annual August Festival. Jim Dinahan will also be here to promote tourism in Ireland. While well, hundreds headed to the Wisconsin State Fairgrounds to learn more about Native American culture and the 11 tribes represented here in Wisconsin. That was the annual winter powwow. It started with a prayer as well as traditional dance. Organizers say this event is all about helping other people understand their culture. The dance that they're doing right now is called an intertribal. That intertribal, that means anybody can come out there. It doesn't matter your race, your, 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 your religion. You just come out there and dance. And you can see a lot of people got out there to dance. They also had a marketplace featuring a number of crafts and food. Hello again, everybody. I'm Storm Team 4 meteorologist Scott Steele in the Weather Center. What a wonderful weekend. I hope you all got a chance to get out there and enjoy it. And if you didn't, well, you have one more opportunity for a really warm day coming our way. In your weather headlines, some folks are going to be near 70 degrees to kick off the work week. Unfortunately, that's going to be followed by a dramatic drop. I guess the good news is we'll temper it. While it'll be a dramatic drop from 70, it'll still be close to where we should be for this time of year in the 40s. And then behind a storm system, blue skies come back awfully quickly. Going into the record books on this date at Milwaukee's Mitchell International, the official high now 60 degrees, the low 29. Well above where we should be this time of year, 42 and 27 are the normal high and low. And the record set back in 2012, just a couple years ago, 72 degrees. And in 1877, two above zero was the record low. Well, here's a look at our computer model of future temperatures, and we'll kick things off in the work week tomorrow morning, sending the kids off to school with readings that barely fall off at all, generally in the low 40s. And then during the day on southerly winds, we'll see our temperatures bump all the way inland to near 70 degrees in Waukesha, Beaver Dam, Fondy, you could touch 71, 70 in Lake Geneva, and also in Burlington. Slightly cooler along the lake with a bit of an onshore breeze, but even at Milwaukee's Mitchell, I think we could easily touch the mid-60s. And then looking ahead behind a storm system that approaches us, our readings will drop dramatically by Tuesday into the 40s. Here's future forecast, our computer model right now, high pressure down to our south. That's the thing that's been giving us all the calm weather around here, the return flow of southerly breezes warming us up. Here's that weather maker approaching us by tomorrow evening, a cold front that'll sweep on by. But with so much dry air in place here at the surface, we could see that front pass by without any precipitation at all. Behind it, high pressure building back in with cooler Canadian air for the rest of the week. A close in view of future forecast showing that that front passes by without any rainfall and then by midweek sunshine returns in earnest. Traveling around the Badger State for your Monday, north, central and south, a mix of sun and clouds and temperatures once again well above average in the 50s to the north, 70s down to the south. Your storm team forecast then for tonight. Expect to see uh, temperatures dropping off to near 46 degrees, partly to mostly cloudy skies, kind of breezy as well. And then for tomorrow, we'll rise all the way to near 67 degrees at Mitchell with 70s inland, even warmer than the weekend. Here comes your storm team for seven day forecast and St. Patty's Day is when things really cool off and they'll remain cool seasonal for the rest of the week.